So what have we seen? We have observed that the Lorentz system is chaotic. But what do we really mean when we say that? What is the definition of chaos? Or oh, does it mean that it, it just looks kind of complicated, like the Lorentz system looks when you simulate it? Does it mean that it's random? That it's just like, whatever, who knows? Does it mean that you can't predict the future? Okay, now that last one, though very imprecise, is a little bit closer to the truth. To get at a definition of chaos, we should go back to the origins of the Lorentz system. What did Lorentz discover? He could not plot things the way that we can with fancy computer graphics. So what he did was he picked an initial condition and ran a very careful simulation that looked at how those three variables, x, y, and z, evolved. And then, to be careful, he ran it again, but with a very, very tiny difference in the initial conditions. And what he saw was a thing that he thought was a mistake. If you take a collection of initial conditions that are all really close to one another and you evolve them forward in time, you let them all evolve according to the dynamics, they're going to stay together for some amount of time, but eventually they're going to begin to separate. And over time, that separation is going to become more exaggerated until at some point their futures look very different, and they seem to be completely uncorrelated. They started off really tight together, but eventually you might as well have had random initial conditions for all the more information you're going to get. This is something that Lorenz observed in his system. This is something that we can see when we simulate it. This is a phenomenon that is called sensitive dependence on initial conditions. And this is really at the heart of what a formal definition of chaos is. Here's what our working definition is going to be. It's a little bit technical, but on the other hand, I'm not going to explain every term in here. So just work with me, okay? We're going to say that an invariant set lambda is chaotic now, wait a minute. What do I mean by invariant set? I mean a subset of the dynamical system in which if you start there, you stay there. It is invariant under the dynamics. Okay, invariant set lambda, chaotic. If the dynamics on it satisfies three conditions. First of all, it has to exhibit sensitive dependence on initial conditions. I'm not going to define what that is, but we've seen an example of that. If you start off with initial conditions that are as close as you want, that eventually they get uncorrelated. I'm not going to specify that anymore. Sorry. Condition number two is that the dynamics have to be topologically transitive. That sounds cool. What does that really mean? What it means is that given any two points, in that invariant set lambda, I can find an orbit that goes from one to the other. Well, not exactly. What it exactly is, is given any two points and any two small neighborhoods about those points, I can find an orbit that starts in one neighborhood and ends in another neighborhood. This kind of means that the entire invariant set is dynamically connected. You can get from any place to any place up to a, a very tiny nudge. The third and final condition for a chaotic invariant set is that it is full of periodic orbits. What I mean specifically is that the set of periodic orbits within lambda is dense within lambda. If you take the closure of the periodic orbit set, you get all of lambda. What that means in practice is given any point in your invariant set and any small neighborhood about that point, then there's a periodic orbit that passes through it. You can pick some point in that little neighborhood and evolve it forward and you will get back to exactly the same point. 
That is our operational definition for a chaotic invariant set. Sensitive dependence, topologically transitive, dense periodic orbit set. Now, this is all fine, well, and good, but is the Lorentz system chaotic? In this technical sense, does it satisfy these three conditions? The answer is yes. Do you believe that? Well, I think I believe the sensitive dependence on initial conditions. That one is pretty clear from a simulation. Topological transitivity, that's a little bit harder to see. I'm not sure how I would go about showing that. And wait a minute, what was that last one? Dense periodic orbits. I didn't see any periodic orbits in our simulation of the Lorentz system, much less having them fill up that attractor. That does not seem intuitive at all. Nevertheless, the Lorentz system is chaotic. But if we want to prove that, or even give an indication of how our proof would go, we're going to need some new ideas.